Morning. How's everyone? Uh, wondering if ever, anyone's around. Um, you know, it's funny, I was getting ready this morning and um, I thought, oh, I've got to tell people about this as I was putting on my deodorant. Um, this is actually homemade deodorant. And uh, I have been using this. I made this up probably about a year ago and it's still going. And it probably cost me like a dollar, maybe just a little bit over a dollar. So I thought, you know what, I, I really think people need to know about this. Because sometimes I forget that there's, you know, not everyone's in the loop on some of the, the dangers that are lurking in our, in our products. So i um, not sure if you've heard, but women on average put about 167 chemicals on their skin daily. Daily. In just the personal care products that we use. So you think about the shampoo that we're using. Uh, the deodorant, our makeup, our skin creams, our you know hair products, like whatever we put in our hair. Um, it's amazing how many chemicals are in our products. And interestingly enough, um, we a lot of uh, the FDA, for example, in the U.S. and in Canada, they don't actually um, look at the chemicals in our products. And there's a certain amount that's actually considered um, safe in Canada. Um, but what they don't do is they don't test the long-term impact of some of those chemicals. And I'm sure that you're hearing about a lot of them, parabens, phthalate, phthalates. Uh, I mean, there's tons of them that are becoming a little bit more common. People have heard that you don't want to have those in your products. Um, but there's a lot that we're not talking about yet. And uh, one of them is aluminum. And a lot of our deodorants still have aluminum in there. And um, one of the things that they found is that they actually found aluminum in um, tumors in the breast. So I, this is one thing I just feel super passionate about. Like women should not be wearing regular deodorant. Like there's so many other ways that you can deal with, you know, issues around perspiration um, outside of putting those chemicals on. So what we don't want to do is put deodorant on and block our our lymph nodes from being able to get rid of toxins. That's where a lot of our lymphs are. And we want our lymphs to be clear. We want them to be able to get rid of some of the chemicals that are in our body. Hey, Jen. So um, so this is like such a super DIY, and I'm not a DIY person. Um, I tend to fail at a lot of them, but this is one that's actually worked really well. And all that I put in it is um, coconut oil, just a little bit of coconut oil, um, baking soda, arrowroot starch or powder. I can post the recipe later. And um, my essential oils. So the essential oils that I use in my deodorant are tea tree. So tea tree is great. It, it's known as an antibacterial and it actually takes the stink out of things. So that works really well. And uh, just to make it uh, smell better, I use bergamot. And that's a citrus blend. It's uplifting and it's a really nice uh, smell. So I use that in my deodorant. I know some people that use lemongrass and are happy with that. Uh, but it works so well. And I'll just show you what it looks like. You can actually make tubes on your own, but I just kind of do it in a little container. I got this at the dollar store. And if you mix it all together, you want to get it to kind of a pasty consistency like that. And I just kind of scoop out and put it on my underarms. And it's amazing. And you'll find that over time... Like if you're eating a pretty healthy diet, you don't stink. And I know a lot of people that don't even use any deodorant. So um, anyways, just wanted to share that. Um, you know, using essential oils are really about um, kind of making slow changes in reducing the toxins in your life. And this is just a really easy way to do that. Um, it's, you know, I'm making slow shifts. Like I'm not, I haven't changed up everything in my house yet. Um, but this is definitely one that's super simple and anyone can do. So anyways, if you want the recipe, let me know and I'll post it for you. And uh, if you want to learn more about um, essential oils and making shifts, I'm happy to help. Thanks. Talk to you soon.